Hey there, Barrys. Welcome to 14.7, playing another Nami support game with my healer dealer build. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Um, we're playing with a Jinx up against a Caitlyn Zyra double poke in the bot lane. Their poke is a little bit more than ours. Uh, a little bit more damage. Uh, Jinx is going to take a little bit longer to get online, whereas Caitlyn's going to be online like from level 1. Get hit by a Zyra root, and then a Caitlyn trap underneath. It's going to be pretty bad. Also, we're going to have to worry about Pike mid roaming. He will be roaming quite a lot, I'd imagine. He's not going to be wanting to stay mid for too long. Just a little bit of chip damage. We're not really going to get a huge amount here. Just the occasional amount of toe band stack here is going to be fine. Which is going to go in there. Okay, nice. Yeah, I don't have cookies secondaries. So I've revitalized, so I'm going to be a little bit more, a uh, little bit more careful with the mana spending. Just take it easy. Try only do stuff that causes mana flow band to proc. Just to make sure that I don't have too many mana issues going in her early. Like winning it or one v one here early on is. A little bit problematic. Jinx taking an awful lot of damage there. From plants. Yeah, Jinx just took a lot of damage with standing in plant range for such a long time there. Pretty annoying. Caitlyn's looking to use headshot proc. Jinx is question about pinging herself. I, yeah, I don't know. Diego's coming in around. It's not going to amount to anything. I've got question about pinged. I don't know why. Jinx doesn't have enough mana. Oh, that was a really good bubble. Okay. Double summoners off the uh, the Caitlyn. I have no mana left now though. I've got solo assist. Okay. This is the pike roaming that we need to be careful about. This lane is shoving in. Okay. Okay, thank god I got that heal off in time. Otherwise that would have been really, really bad with Pike getting away there for free. This Jinx is tilted at herself. We're gonna do double fairy charm start. And she's blaming herself and not other people. But yeah. Okay. So so far we're zero to mid. Mid looks like a bit of a disaster. Jinx hates herself. Yeah, we'll see how it goes this game. Just need to be careful about getting caught out by Syra E in particular. I kind of wish she didn't push in that wave. There's no reason to kill all of his cast minions. Let the wave come back towards us is absolutely fine. She needs to join in on auto attacking those plants, but she like the slow ones. There's always another wave. 
Okay. That is a sick double bubble there. down here. He's got ulti. <sighs> There's no way that that gets pushed. Wasted my flash then. Trying to facilitate the victor. Staff of Flame Water. Yeah, the wave situation's got really bad. We do got the dragon there though, but yeah. This alpha, oh, okay, this is going to be a disaster now. They have to kill Caitlyn. If they want any trade here, the Hecarim, uh, the Victor ulti there is just not really good. Okay, we're not going to facilitate for this Victor at all. I have seen nothing good from him, so I'm not going to like do anything to accommodate for him especially. If that makes sense, like... Him coming in from the flank here, like he didn't have boots in to even come in and stuff. He was like too slow to even get into the range. Maybe we can make a move up in this direction. Looks like they're already kind of backing away. Get a ward there to kind of help see rotations off this pike. But yeah, pike is going to be making moves down bot side quite a lot. Pretty stressful game. I have no trust in the mid lane. This is a very, very, very big problem. Top seems to be going sort of even. They have a massive engage with the Zac, the Pike, the Hecarim flying in. Cyrus around. Just keeping an eye on that pike all the time. Okay, that's a good trance. Bob died. Pike's missing. Too shortly. Shut down. Okay, good kill on mid. Oh no, dude. Don't stand still. Okay, then we'll have ulti. There's absolutely no mana to play around with. So we've got like double fairy charms so we can sustain the healing here. Vegas coming down, it'll feel weird to leave. We can't afford to waste Jinx ulti like that, really. Okay. 
find my home again. Yeah, the Jinx is struggling a lot. We just saw it just there. We were lucky to even keep her up them. Olaf is doing really badly now. So is the victim. The only one that can really kind of carry this game at the moment is Viego. Just got to keep trying. Keep an eye on this Pike mid. I mean, their our late game is better than theirs, but we got to get to late game. That's the problem. Missing. Honestly, that pike just got absolutely crapped on there. If we oh, we still lose that trade. Oh my god, dude! What is that bubble though? That might have actually just been the most insane bubble of my life. Like, I've had triple bubbles, but that bubble on the pike there was actually just mental. What? Never seen that before. I'm gonna leech. I need some charges here. I want 20 golds. Play it there, but no one's going to get it. We have no river prior. We can't fight for the dragon. There's nothing to fight with, my guys. Pike. That's my control. I'm trying. Alright, I'm thought. We're losing top. We're losing everywhere. We shouldn't be fighting in areas where we are down people. There's nothing to fight for here. I've got nothing to do down here. Give me out of combat, please. Thank you. Got staff soon. I don't want to reset for that. Zero FF15. It's going to be a difficult game. I'm not surrendering.
Put it on the best of bubble then. I like how the person that hasn't died once in the whole game is getting flamed the most. I.e. me for being a KDA Uwu player. Not that I've done some good crowd control this game. Not that I've, you know, generally not positioned badly at all. It's because I'm a KDA Uwu player. <laughs> Sorry I'm not seven deaths like the top. I'm gonna die here. I think this is my first death coming out here. Can't protect myself against this. Has got no HP then. DPS bit was too much. I think Jinx should. I, I think honestly, I think Jinx that she should have not been on Hecarim. I think if she just abandoned me, let me die, and just help with the rest of the team, I think they would have maybe got better results. Even though Zach is the tank. Would have been better than more focusing one target rather than splitting the damage up that hard. Are they using KD as an insult? I don't, I don't know. But it's okay guys, supports are broken. We need nothing more. <laughs> Like, this is why I've been reducing my league play time lately. It's like literally people like this Viego just make the game so anti-fun, man. Just like, I don't know. I'm getting too old for games like this now where it's just like zero fun and it's... I've been playing my ass off. I feel like I've made minimal mistakes, right? And I still get flamed. I still have to watch people go eight deaths, eight deaths, nine deaths. Like, I don't understand, honestly, how collectively my team can have... Like, 32 of the deaths, right? Out of 34. <laughs> like... 
Like, I can get, like, one lane being, like, weak lane and having to deal with a lot of stuff. Um... I mean, like, that, they're, just, they're just running it down. They're not even defending the base anymore. Like, this is, like... This is great. Like, utter refusal just to even play the game. It's disgusting. Like, it really just feels like, why do this when I can just know I can just chill playing an MMO like Final Fantasy XIV like I have been. Like, this is just not fun. Like, 10 deaths, 10 deaths, 9 deaths, 7 deaths in a 21 minute game? <sighs> like, I hate to moan about it, but it's just... Maybe it's also this account is cursed, because the win rate on this account is really bad, but it feels like every single game I've done on this account has been, like, the same. This is meant to be, like, a D2, D3 MMR rated game. These people are meant to be like top 3% in League and then that's that, and it's just like, eh. Honestly, I might just wait for Vanguard. <laughs> I might just wait for Vanguard, cause, and just do like very minimal League stuff, because when there's like news as well, it's also super demoralizing. They released like the Vanguard thing, an article about Vanguard, the anti-cheat program that's coming into League. And when they're showing stuff like this, like last year they had to ban 1 million accounts of scripting and botting. There were um, apparently 150 uh, games pretty much, 150,000 games pretty much every week being scripted or botted. Uh, at peak like this time last year it was 300,000 games scripted and botted. It's just like... The amount of people that are flaming, the amount of scripting that goes along, like... This isn't... This isn't good. <laughs> I'm not enjoying the competition anymore. So when people ask me, am I motivated to hit Chanjo anymore? No, because it's just not as good as it used to be. So when I know I could be spending the same amount of time, like by the time it took me to get into game as well, I had to go through a champion select where um, we had to play it all out. I had to wait three minutes to get into game. Then it dodged, and then we got back into game. So the amount of game prep there anyway was like another 10 minutes. So I spent like 35 minutes. So like, feels like I've just wasted my life. So, I don't know. Could have been playing triple triad. Exactly. <laughs> 